Hey, what's up, Gunship Gang? Ryan here, we're MNR Productions, and welcome to, I think, the sixth vlog for 2020. I've started to lose count. It might be six, it might be the fifth, it might be the seventh somehow. Um, a little dark in my room right now because I just woke up, it's about 10.30 a.m., and we just had leaked a LEGO Star Wars 2020 set. It's General Grievous' Starfighter, so nice to see that one returning after a 10-year uh, hiatus, but I gotta sit down and make a video about it now. We have a box to open, and I don't have a knife. Where's the knife? I actually don't remember how much this set cost at retail. Or do I remember what I paid for it on eBay? I want to say I paid like 120 on eBay, but like I said, I don't remember exactly. All right, so this is an Old Republic set. Ooh la la. Yes. Something me. Lego only made about five things based off of, but this is not for you. Um, the Jedi Defender Class Cruiser. Very nice little set here, eh? Mm hmm From 2013, it's got the Yoda. Pretty much a classic at this point. Not really, this is honestly not very recognizable. I don't think a lot of people know what this is. I don't think, uh, I don't even know if it sold well, to be honest. Like, I know that um, Old Republic was like a neat, like, sub-theme of like a Star Wars for a couple years, or for, for a year, basically, but then it went away. Thoughts, Corey? First time you've ever seen this set. Pretty cool. Wow. Very in depth. Look, the fans are going to chant, We want Taco, and then Brad Stevens is going to put Taco in. Lego fans say, We want a File First Battle Pack. Lego doesn't make a File First Battle Pack. I don't get it. See, Lego, this is exactly what would happen if you made a File First Battle Pack. I promise. Alright, so I just started up a live stream at after midnight and like a bunch of people showed up. So shout out to you guys. We're just playing blackout solos because none of my friends are online. I mean, I don't have friends, so you know. Anyway, um, very good time ahead, hopefully, maybe. We'll see. I need armor. It is Super Bowl Sunday and we are off to Target real quick. And uh, I need to get some soda and hopefully find a Mandalorian battle pack. Still on the hunt. Don't know what else. I'm, I'm not going to like Super Bowl party this year. I, uh, I don't want to go, <laughs> so I'm, uh, I don't even know if I'm going to watch it, honestly. I mean, I'll probably put it on my iPad off to the side, but I'm honestly probably just going to live stream Call of Duty on Twitch instead of watching football. It's the poly bag I'll never own, Lego Trolls. Dude, they still have not stocked this aisle, like, at all. Where are the battle packs, bro? That's wild. Half price Unikitty, half price Lego Movie 2, and suitcases. Nice. So if y'all didn't notice, they are redoing this target, and finally we're getting the good scanners. It's Monday now, at noon, not Monday morning. I'm dressed, ready to go to the gym, gotta go to the post office, but we have a box. There's the box. I can't bring you up close because it has my address on it, but let me go ahead and open the box and I'll show you what's inside. By the way, it is from Lego. I also had quite a night last night, if you can't tell. <laughs> it just did then. Um, but yeah, it's it's from Lego, so get the special knife out and let's go. So this is what it's like when you get something directly from the Lego group. It's a late Christmas. Thank you so much to the LAN or the Lego group for this set. Oh yes, it's the Christmas X-Wing. I am stoked about this. There's no like letter or anything which I kind of expected there to be, but oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so that is the, the Christmas X-Wing. Oh my God. Yes. I was going to buy this like back in early December and I was getting worried that they weren't going to send it because they said it was going to be sent in the middle of January. And then like it didn't send until like the first day of February, the last day of January or whatever. And I'm like, thank God, because I was like, I, I guess I'm about to buy it because I guess they're just not going to send it. But thank you to Lego for reopening the um, the thing to send these out as well, because I had closed the thing and I had missed it because I joined the land too late. But I have one. Irregardless, all my X-Wings that have been piled up there for a month now will be get, getting put to use, so we'll be doing that comparison at some point soon, so keep your eye out for that. But tonight, going to be live stream building this. Let's go.
So this first small package is from Sith of the Studs, and then I also got a letter from a fan. So let's take a quick look at the letter and see what it says. Well, thank you, Drake, for the very nice letter, and good luck on starting your LEGO collection. You've got a long way to go, I'm sure, if you're just starting. And yes, hopefully you saw this on the vlog channel, because I don't usually do the mail videos, but I opened it on camera on the vlog channel. Um, let's open this now. Okay, here we go. N1. Look at that. De Death Star. TIE Fighter. Ooh, that is clean. Maybe I'll wear this for the live stream tonight. Oh yeah, I think I will. Get my Final First Battle Pack shirt for the, the thumbnail though. So that's what I'm wearing today, but. Mm. Oh, actually, eh, it's got a lot of wrinkles. I should probably wash it first, to be honest. But yeah, that looks really clean. Nice. So it's been a pretty wild day for mail. I just got more things in the mail to open for you guys. Some of which I jokingly said yes to, and then they actually showed up. So we have a couple packages from Ed, and then we also have a fragile package. Ooh. Package one, which was like the bubble mailer, had one crushed Sith Trooper battle pack. <laughs> You'd be expecting because it was in the bubble mailer. So get that ironed out and get that put into the, the uh, Sith Trooper battle pack collection. But we have a bigger box from Ed as well. I literally lost my Patriot's knife. I just had it earlier when I opened the, the X-Wing, right? And now it's gone. I'm looking everywhere. It's literally nowhere. What the hell, bro? Where's my freaking knife? I lost my pocket knife too. Is it not back there? I swear I... <sighs> and in case the government's watching, I also got my tax info from Google so I can pay my taxes. Yay! Paying taxes is fun. Thank you, US government. I love it. Like I said, I jokingly said yes to this, but Ed actually sent me eight Sith Trooper battle packs. So thank you, Ed. The Sith army is gonna be so legit next year. I, oh, I've lost count now. I think I have to be at 30 of these battle packs now. I'm pretty sure between the one I got from Shy and eight more now, and I had like 22 already, so it's gotta be like 31 of these battle packs, but yeah, oh my goodness. Thank you, Ed. Jeez, dude, amazing stuff. In addition to Ed's battle packs, we obviously have this big box from eBay. Looks like I paid a total of $259 with shipping. And for that, we have the Republic gunship from 2008, which if you guys pay attention to like the vlogs or whatever, I recently sold mine at Brick Fair, Virginia because the stickers and everything were crumbling off and I just want one of one in better conditions. So that's basically what this is. Um, it's not sealed, It's it's been opened and built. However, um, the actual set itself um, is in like stupid good condition. I, the stickers had not been applied. So that's kind of what I was looking for because uh, like I said, the reason I sold the old one is because I had like taped over the stickers and stuff. It was really bad. Um, so now we have a new one. So let's open this up, double check everything, make sure it's all in good condition. See the pieces don't look like they have any dust on them. Obviously the bag is pretty scratched, but again, the pieces look very clean, which is what matters to me. Let's see. I don't know if the box just smells weird or something. These obviously look great. Look like they're in very good condition, except for one piece on there. It looks like it's discolored for some reason, but everything else looks perfectly fine and in great condition, like practically unused there. Um, but there's a little bit of a smell. <laughs> it's just, a, it's, a, it's slightly noticeable. Let's get some of my, my perfume. So I've got everything set up now. Bag one in front of me, little instruction manual. Okay, so Bfab uh, says he's good. So this is okay. this is what the live stream setup looks like for people that are wondering. This is this is how we do it. We got the stool, computer, iPad, mic, set, lights, camera, action. Okay. Uh hello everybody, welcome to the live stream and the good camera work. Alright. You're from New York. Nice. We are singing Christmas songs in the chat, I see. Oh, here, here come the million highs. What's up, 60 FPS cat? Oh, God. What's up, Joseph, Dark Lord Vader, who I'm still looking for a battle pack for? Oh, God. All right, we're live. All right, we're building the... Uh, we're building the Anyone like the Disney Marvel stuff that we saw last night? What Disney Marvel stuff? I assume the commercials. Favor of Ryan for Supreme Leader of Gunship Gang, say aye. You have an opinion that is not the same as yours, Ryan? You get banned. Nope, so. I think this confirms me as Supreme Leader of Gunship Gang. So no longer self-appointed, you have been voted in. I have been oh, voted in. Whoever Ethan Phillips is, ban him. Mark says nay. Who who are we banning? We got we got to get a list together. Everyone that says no is getting put on a list. So we got Mark Parisher. It's Tuesday afternoon now, and I've been watching some of Greg's live stream, but I think I'm gonna pause that now so that I can finish my review of the Christmas X Wing. 
Yeah. I'm making a Bricklink order because I need that piece for my other X-Wing and it, I went to one of my favorite stores that has like old stuff, Mil Miller Spares, and uh, I think I'm going to be picking up a Palpatine's Arrest while I'm at it. I, I do occasionally buy sets from them and this is another set I'm going to be buying. Okay, I need to add items to cart. Um, I was thinking about the B-Wing, but that one's actually quite a bit pricier than uh, the going rate, but the Palpatine's Arrest is a very fair price at 200 so definitely going to go with that. And for people that wonder, like, how do you know if it's a fair price? You literally just go on eBay and you look at what has sold. That's how I figure out if it's a fair price. New in box, this one sold for $230. i am buying it for $200. That's a good price. This one's over $270. I'm buying it for $200. $210. So $200 seems to be a fair price. This is how you look up if stuff is a fair price. Just for future reference for people that don't know how to do it, this is how you do it. And then you don't have to ask me. Because <laughs> I don't know every set, actually, what they're worth. Literally, I was going to get one piece this is actually more expensive than other stores, but I was like, oh yeah, well, I know their store and they've never, I never had a problem with them, so I'll get it from them. And then I was like, oh, well, what if I just repurchase Palpatine's Arrest while I'm at it? And here we are. Proceed. Up at the ye olde McDonald's real quick, on the way to play basketball. All right, Chris, you want to be in the video? This one. What are you gonna it's the, This is it. This is your uh, time to shine. What's up? I'm Chris Roth. Go follow the Black Ops 2 channel, <laughs> AJCJ channel, go check me out, Nas Resolution, what is ESR, it? Gold Quick Go. <laughs> So about to go to sleep here. It's about 1.30 a.m. I just finished uh, editing and it's uploading right now the um, Christmas X-Wing review. I don't know what's up there. But I've been re-watching The Clone Wars and it's been really enjoyable. I know I said a while back that I was going to start doing this, but I actually started doing it the other day. And um, like I said, it's been a really enjoyable experience. One season one episode 13 now. Uh, I just remember watching Grievous's Lair the other night. And I was just like, wow, I don't remember any of this. So this is something that I did watch as it came out on a weekly basis. I saw every episode back in the day, but again, it's probably been a decade since I watched this, so it's kind of interesting now. Thank God I didn't wake up at uh, 1 p.m. today because I just got some very exciting news. And ladies and gentlemen, in first place, we have the Republic gunship. We've been victorious. Although Lego said they were going to release the number of votes, and they didn't do it. They just said over half, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. And with that, my video is completed. I literally just wanted to add this section where I talk about, like, the actual post, and uh, everything else has been done for, like, a week. So <laughs> the video is going to be rendering out now, and it'll be uploaded uh, very soon. What better way to celebrate the victory of Gunship Gang than with leg day? And early. I usually go at, like, 2 p.m., but... Also, I feel like there's more people here now, so I shouldn't go now, but I don't know. Lesson will be learned today, perhaps. I'm sitting here waiting for a lady in a wheelchair to be put in the bus, and like, the amount of impatient people is incredible, but I guess we get to go now. Oh no, we're not gonna let the person that was in front out first? Okay, that's cool too. Okay, okay. See how it is. So we just finished the podcast and I'm trying to get uh, the Lego Masters on my computer here. I should have Fox. I just press like sign in with the provider. And I guess since I'm on my Wi-Fi, it um, automatically knows which provider I have and that like it's legit or whatever. So that's weird. But um, I'm trying to get this check location button to work and it's not doing anything when I press it. So that's a problem because I need it to work. Um, it's working. It's on like masked center singer day. now, <laughs> but uh, Lego Masters is next. And it's an hour, dude. I'm so pumped about it being an hour. That's sweet. Artistic um, masterpieces. Let's not freeze. The technical showstoppers. But in the world of Lego, what does it take? Jamie, Amy, I think these builds all look great, but it is time to name oh, baby. the bottom two teams. Ooh. If you hear your name, Please step forward. Another beautiful night of Clone Wars. Friday night, or we'll be building the uh, gunship. The gunship, the other gunship I'm built is like over there, but there's my 2013 one and the 2002 ones up there. So gunship gang, good day. I went to a Jason's Deli and had lunch and now I'm back. I actually need to clean this gunship box. You can tell it's kind of dirty. So I got a slightly wet rag and that should be able to clean it off nicely. I'm gonna scrub it pretty hard. So hopefully I'll be able to clean it off nicely. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my thumbnail for tomorrow night's live stream with this box. I'm about to go to softball and then I see my brother's tire. What the hell happened to that? Usually they're the like shiny ones and that's that's like rusty. I guess he must've popped one or something, but we're going. We got a couple games tonight, late games.
Ooh, that's a dinger. Not a dinger. Ooh. Ooh. Safe. Late night post softball Walmart action. I still need to buy that. I'm waiting for a Lego promo with like VIP points and stuff. Um, but, eh. Where are the, dude, there's a legitimate Mandalorian battle pack shortage. Like, they just don't exist in the world anymore. Wow. Hmm. It's Friday and we are off to the gym. We're picking up Corey and then we got a live stream to do at like 6 p.m. So exciting day ahead. It's the truck of the enemy, Pepsi. Disgusting. Look, even their truck is outdated. It's like co color washed. Y'all can see that. And please note that that is Ambulance Medic 66. I don't think I would want to get on that ambulance. They might kill me. Hey, Corey. What are those? <laughs> Shoot. Shoes. What did Layla do? Pee on the floor. She always does it. Here, you take my trash. Here, I'll hand it to you across the way. I ain't walking over there. <laughs> I closed my door. Why? Oh, so like me and the but you don't care about your actual room. You can close your room door. Alright, what Lego sets you have to build? Let's see. Let's see what we got. What? Uh, Droid gunship. Uh, or... yeah, the... Do the droid gunship. Okay. That'll be that'll be enough for you, I think. You need to get some shelves. Hmm? Why don't you use the empty shelf there? I'm, I'm using it for this. Oh, you've been waiting? Hmm? Okay. Huh. So it's been like a month and a half since Christmas. Still only 30% off. Never gonna sell. Um, $3. These are still only 30% off. Literally never gonna sell. I would assume these are... Oh, these are 50% off. Still not selling. 50% off on that too. Need those? No. No? All right. See, he gloves it is. You don't need Yoda. There's still no battle packs. This is terrible. There's a legitimate battle pack shortage. Corey, who won? Gunship gang! Gunship gang, 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 gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we also have a box to open. What do you think? What do you think's in the box? I just have shelves on uh, shelves. Oh, Lego? What a, what a guess. Hello and welcome to Box Time. So this is the order that I made on Bricklink uh, a while back. Not a while back, but earlier in the vlog. You saw this order, so I'm not going to try to ham it up or anything. You probably know what's inside if you've been paying attention, but we should have a pretty neat set. This is a set that I actually sold back in the day because I decided it wasn't cool enough for me to keep on my shelves. Yep, the most important part of the order right here, the little piece for my... X-Wing, is that the right one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the X-Wing wing, the one that's not uh, with a mist mold. So I'll be able to do all my X-Wing comparisons. And of course, uh, the box here is gonna have Palpatine's Arrest. Very, very cool set from 2012. Was a Toys R Us exclusive. It's one of those sets that I think we didn't even get revealed until it showed up on a Lego store shelf. So it's kind of cool for that fact, but very neat set. What do you think, Corey? You've probably never seen this before. Pretty cool, I like it. Wow, very in-depth thoughts. Do you know who any of these characters are? Um, Palp uh, oh, oh, who's he? Palpatine. Say it! Palpatine? Who's he? I don't know. He was just in the episode we watched of Clone Wars. I don't know. Mace Windu. How many people are waiting, uh, Brickbad? 354. 354? Let us start streaming. And we are live. Hello, Gunship Gang! So, I just finished live stream like 30 minutes ago. I've been talking with everyone and now we're done. So, everything is good to go with the gunships. I can finally do my gunship comparison with all three there looking pretty snazzy together. I still need to apply the stickers on the 2008 version. The setup is going to have to be taken down so that I can actually use my, my space here again because it does get pretty messy when I live stream in here, but that's to be expected. But it took like four hours to build that and I should have bought it new. I bought it used and I was trying to save some money and I've really learned the lesson once more. Buy it nice. 
or buy it twice. And some parts are yellowed and I did my best to like put them in spots. You wouldn't see them, but there are some. And um, I actually replaced one of these plates, which was like super yellow. And it would have been obviously noticeable on the wing there because there's nowhere else for it to go. Um, and some of the parts are really dusty. So obviously I had to clean those off. And some of them aren't really even clean yet and still need more cleaning. So I need to like get water and soap and do that versus this one, which was brand new. So it's all sparkly and clean. And I like that. So buy it nice or buy it twice. This is why I bought this one new, brand new sealed. No, don't have to worry about anything. Saturday at 12.30 now. I've been sleeping for a long time. I've slept for three hours with the lights on because I woke up at nine, went to the bathroom, turned the lights on so I wouldn't fall asleep. And I slept for three hours with the lights on. So that's great. But thanks for watching. And I'm really sorry that it's late. <laughs> See you next week.